Hey guys, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today's workout is going to combine core and glutes. It's going to be a really good one and of course you can always do it at home. You can do it at the gym. No equipment for this one. It's going to be all our body weight. I'm super excited to work out with you guys. So let's go and let's get a little sweatier than we are right now. <laughs> So the first series that we are going to be doing is going to be focusing on that core. So this is going to be known as the C-shape series because we are doing a bunch of C-shapes. And if you don't know what a C-shape is, basically in Pilates it's a very popular move. It's like a crunch but you're not coming all the way up, you're doing more of that C-shape with your back. So you're coming up, you're tucking that chin into the neck, coming up, making that C-shape with your spine and then coming down. So we're doing 20 seconds on of C shapes, and then we're gonna do a 10 second hold. We're starting in three, two, one. So like a crunch, you're coming up, but not all the way, and you're coming back down. Exhale up, inhale down. Really feel your core here. That breath is going to carry you through the whole practice, so keep it strong. We've got three more here. That's two. Last one. One, and we're holding. And what we're going to do is we are going to bring the arms up and down. So it's going to be... You should really feel that burning sensation start in your core, especially the top part. So now we're going to add on to this C shape. So we're going to come into tabletop, so you're going to bring your legs up into that tabletop position. We're keeping the head, neck, and shoulders down until we lift up. And you can either have your, leg, your feet flexed or pointed, whatever you want. And what we're doing is you're going to inhale, and as you exhale, going to lift up and go back down. Really feeling the core here. Protecting that neck, so make sure you're tucking it in when you come up. We have three more. That's two. And one, and we're doing that up and down with the arms again. So we're going. Oh, and then coming back down. You can bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side for a second, just to stretch out that back. And then we are going to go into our third variation of C shape. So. This is the hardest variation in Pilates, and that is going to be, you are going to have your legs in tabletop, and then you're going to bring them all the way up straight. Now, as you can see, I don't have perfectly straight legs. I have very tight hamstrings, so if you need a little bit of a bend in your knees, that's totally fine. If this is more comfortable for you in tabletop, again, totally fine. This is just as, this is challenging on its own. This is just a little more challenging, right? And we're just getting those hamstrings involved. So we're doing the same move, and we're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to tuck the chin into the chest, and we're coming right up. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. We have three more. That's one. That's two. And we're going to hold this one and we're going up and down with the arms. Ooh, I feel the burn. <laughs> Bring the knees into the chest, rock outside to side. 
Oh, I show you, you should really be feeling it in that tummy. Uh, that's a great like, little warm up I like to do at the beginning of my core workouts because it really gets into those abdominals and the breathing just gets even deeper. So really exhale when you're doing that, um, when you're coming up. It just helps, okay? And just keep breathing. Stretch it out if you need to. Stretch out your legs straight. That's a really good one too. Um, whatever you need to do in this little stretching little moment, you can do a 90-90 stretch. So um, I'm already doing it. but uh, So your feet are gonna come that distance apart and you're going to windshield wiper your knees to one side, really feeling that hip flexor on the left. And then you inhale and as you exhale, bring them all the way up and come to the other side, really stretching that other hip flexor. We'll go one more time each side before we move on to our next core move. Okay, so the next series that we're gonna to move to is going to still focus on that core, but now we're gonna incorporate a little bit of back and the arms. So, we're gonna come down on our stomach. Listen gently. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing some swimmers. I will show you guys exactly what that looks like before we get into it. So, what it's gonna be is we are gonna be pushing our pelvic floor right to the bottom. So squeeze your bum and imagine your hip, uh, your hip bones are really connecting to that ground. It's gonna protect your lower back here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. So just hovering above the mat. We're gonna lift the legs up off, off the ground. Bring our arms out in front of us and we're gonna be fluttering or swimming for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna be doing a 10 second hold followed by 20 seconds of swimmers 10 second hold. Okay? So it's gonna be tough, but it's really good for your upper back and as well as those glutes because you're gonna be squeezing them as you move the legs, okay? So here we go. 20 seconds on, all right? We're starting in three, two, one. Make sure you're breathing. This is a hard one to keep breathing, but just remind yourself. We have 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're gonna hold. So just squeeze the glutes, squeeze that upper back and hold. Three, two, one. Come all the way down before we do the next round. You can shake out your back if you need to. If you need to do a, like a little child's pose, this is the opposite um, move. So it'll really help the back. And we're gonna do that one more time, okay? Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna come back on that belly. Arms are out and make sure that that pelvic floor is really pushing into the ground so the hip bones, you really feel them grounded on there, okay? And we're starting in three, two, one. Lift everything up and start swimming. You're doing amazing, keep going. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one, hold. 10 second hold. If you can, bring your heels close together and squeeze that bum. Five, four, three, two, one. Come down gently. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Bring yourself up and go back into a child's pose. So. Come right on those heels and feel that lower back trying to sink in on those heels, okay? Keep breathing. Good. 
great job with that one. That one's really tough, but it's a great one to get the heart going and to feel in that upper back. So we're going to continue with the upper back and a little bit of core before we move on into the glutes, okay? So now we're going to get into a little bit of glutes. Um, so this first move is really for your abs and your glutes. So I will come to the side and what we're going to be doing is we're going to come out into a plank on our, but a, a high plank. So you're going to be on those hands and lift up those, lift up on those toes, squeeze the bum and core is on. Okay. So what the move is going to look like is we are just going to be holding into a plank while we lift our legs. And you can join in any time. So you're squeezing those glutes to lift the leg up, but you're holding in your core. So this is a really great ab glute move. We'll do 10 more. Seven. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. And we're just going to hold this for 10 seconds. Keep holding. Keep breathing. Three. Two. One. Come down on those knees. And come into a child's pose. This is a very nice relaxing pose. <laughs> and keep breathing. That was really, really good. And we're going to do it one more time. Make sure you take any sips of water that you need. If you need to take a break for this one, it's totally understandable. This is a really high intense move with the arms, the abs, and the glutes. So if you feel like maybe your knees want to give out or you just don't feel comfortable in this position, please don't do it. I really don't recommend you doing it if you feel any pain, okay? <sighs> We're gonna get into round two, okay? This is the last round with this move before we get into a little more glutes and then we'll, we will and then we will be done, okay? <laughs> okay, so come back into that high plank a really good thing, a good tip with this one, if you're feeling it in your wrists, is to really um, stretch out your fingertips and give it more space. That will give your wrists a little more relief, and you won't feel like you're putting so much weight on them. And again, make sure they're right underneath your shoulders. So we're coming into that high plank, and we're doing 20 leg lifts, okay? So make sure you're exhaling when you lift your leg. core is really on. You're working that back, those glutes, the core. It's a great full body move. That's 10. We have 10 more. 10 more. Don't come down unless you really need to. I know it's tough. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Come to this. We're going to hold the plank for 10 seconds. Almost forgot. Okay? Four, three, two, one. Come on those knees. And you can uh, do a wide like a child's pose if you want. So bring those hips out and just sit back on those heels. Really getting a nice hip stretch. Great job. Great job with that one. Again, it's a full body move, so your whole body should be shaking by now. <laughs> I know mine is. So uh, we're going to get into our final glute move of the workout. This is a really, really good series, and it's going to be done on your side. So 
pick a side if you want to do right or left first, and I will meet you on the mat. Okay, so the last move or last series that we're going to be doing is for our glutes. So we're going to come down on our left side. Left arm goes straight out. Legs go straight out as well. And you want to make sure that you're balanced properly on that mat. So you want to have a little bit of distance between that oblique and the mat. So you're not just like hunkering down. You want to be active and be lifting it as you're doing that. So it's a little bit of an oblique move as well. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have our toe facing the ground. So it's going to be pointed like this. Heel is going to be facing the ceiling. So you're really um, rotating that hip. So it doesn't make it, it's not, you're not going to feel it working. You really want your bum to be working, not your hip. So that position just helps that. And what we're just going to be doing is lifting the leg, not super high, and bringing it back down. So just a couple, couple of inches up and down. Inhale down, exhale up. You know, you don't have to go really fast with this move. The slower, the better. You'll feel it more in your glutes. Good job. Keep lifting. This one you'll start to feel probably right away. So just remember to keep that toe facing down. Heel is facing the ceiling. We'll do three more. That's two. And on the one, you're going to hold it up and we're just pulsing it up, okay? Pulse, 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 lift, 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 lift. Feel that glute working. Keep the toe facing down and you will feel your glutes way more. You won't feel it in your hip as much, okay? We're going for five, four, three, two, one. Keep that, toe, that leg up and you're doing mini watermelon circles going backwards, okay? So you're leading with that heel, toe is down. Ooh, it's burning. Yes, it is. Oh, keep going though. We'll do five more on this side. One, two, three, four, five, and then go and do watermelon circle, mini watermelon circles going forward. And this is where you should be feeling like you want to drop your leg, but you're not going to because we love the burn. Okay. We're going for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the leg down and you're going to prep up on your elbow and we're going to bring the top leg in the front. Okay. So feet is flat on the ground and the left leg, ooh, I feel it there. <laughs> the left leg is straight and we're going to be focusing on the left leg inner thigh and we're just lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. Now this one, you might be like, this is easy, but you need to be really squeezing your inner thigh to feel it, okay? We'll go five, four, three, two, one, hold it up and pulse, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Oh, I really feel it in my right glute. So before we go on to the next side, just bring your left foot to your left or your right foot to your left knee and just push it out if you need to. If you want to do the full figure four stretch, I'll show you guys how to do that. If this is enough and this is intense enough, that's totally fine. So if you want to do the full figure four stretch, what you're going to do is you're going to lift your legs up towards your chest, left leg goes straight, you're going to grab on behind that left leg and pull it in. Oh my god, it's so tender. And just breathe, <laughs> breathe into the stretch, okay? And we'll move on to the other side before we go do a full body stretch for the end, okay? We're almost there. Just keep breathing. Make sure to keep both feet flexed to protect that knee and you'll feel it more. 
Take one more inhale. On the exhale, let everything go. Drop the leg down and we'll go to the other side. So I'm going on to my right side. Right leg, our legs go straight, right arm goes down and you're laying on that arm. Again, you wanna make sure that you're not just plopping down. You wanna be very active in those obliques and lifting them up. Okay, so what we're doing is we're having our hand, left hand on the ground and we're just doing our leg, our leg lifts. Sorry, I can't talk. Of course, you wanna make sure before you do any lift that your toe is pointing down to the floor and your heel is facing the ceiling. So what I mean is think about your toe rotating down. So these are your toes, your my um, palm is your heel and your heel is trying to face up towards the ceiling, okay? So we're lifting up and down, up and down, squeezing the glutes as we go up, squeeze and down, up and down, up and down, going nice and slow, making sure that heel is leading the foot by facing the ceiling. Make sure you're breathing. We have five more. Four. Three. Two. One, and we're pulsing. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Leading with that heel. Pulse. Pulse, 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 four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep that uh, foot up, that leg up, and we're going backwards with those mini watermelon circles. Making sure that the heel is the one that's leading those circles, right? You're really going to feel your glutes starting to fire up here. We don't want any discomfort in the hips. If you're starting to feel it in the hips, come down, reset, and then start again, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Don't lower that leg. Go the opposite direction, so forwards. Keep breathing. I know it's burning. We have five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring that leg down. We're gonna come up onto that right elbow. Bring our top leg to the front here, so right in front of our hip. Oh, I really, really feel it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're working that right inner thigh and we're lifting the leg. So we're going up and down, up and down, up and down. Really squeezing those inner thighs, or that inner thigh. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and we're pulsing. Pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Okay. We're going to stretch out that other side, so bring that left foot to the right knee, stretch it out. If that's intense enough for you, stay here. If you want a little bit more, you're going to bring the knees into the chest and put your right hands, interlace your right hands behind your right leg, your right hands, interlace your hands behind your right leg and pull in and keep your feet flexed to protect your knees and you'll feel it more in your hips. So just keep breathing into this intensity. I know it's probably burning, but you're really trying to release that tension out of the hips, bum, all of that good stuff, okay? Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And on the exhale, we're coming all the way down. Okay, so we will do just a quick little stretch before we end. 
Okay, so we'll come up to seated. Actually, we'll do a cat and cow because you guys know I love that stretch. So come onto all fours. It's a really great full body move, great for the abs as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna inhale, tuck the chin into the chest and curl into that chest. So you're making a nice little rounded shape with your body, belly to spine. Take an inhale and on the exhale, we're gonna go the opposite direction. So come forward with those, bring the shoulders back, hips are being pushed back, bum is being pushed up to the ceiling, gaze goes up. We're gonna take an inhale and on the exhale, do that opposite move, so curling in. This would be your cat pose. And then when we come into cow, we're really opening up that body and exaggerating those moves. The more you exaggerate, the more you will feel this move, okay? So we'll do it one more time. Inhale, exhale, curl. Inhale, exhale, lift and arch, okay? Oh, that's such a good one. Okay, we'll come to seated. And we will bring, you guys will get to see how non-flexible I actually am. So bring your legs out straight in front of you. If you need to have a little bit of a bend into your legs, that's totally fine. We're all on our own little journeys here. So no judgment at all. Back is gonna go nice, <clears throat> back is gonna go nice and flat, sorry. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift our arms over, underneath, over our heads. We're gonna inhale and on the exhale, we are just gonna come forward and stretch out those hamstrings. So try to grab onto whatever you can here with a nice flat back. So if you can grab onto the toes, that's great. If you can grab onto the ankles or the shins, that's awesome too. If you can grab onto those heels, you are my hero <laughs> and I am jealous of you. So do that if you need to too. <laughs> so you're really gonna feel it in those hamstrings and probably a little bit into those glutes as well that we worked. Make sure that you keep a nice flat back. You'll feel a little bit more. Inhale, exhale, come back up. And we'll go down one more time. So inhale, flat back. Exhale, keep that flat back and come forward with those arms, stretching out those hamstrings. And just breathe into it, okay? I've been sitting all day, so this feels very tight for me, but it feels good. Really flex those feet. Inhale and exhale, come back up. All right, we're just gonna cross those legs and do one final stretch all together. So I'm gonna bring the right arm above us, nice flat back. Give yourself a little room on the left side, reach up and then lean over to that right, left side, okay? Stretching out that right side of the body that we just worked with those obliques. Just keep breathing. One more inhale. Exhale, come up. Lift that left arm up straight. Give yourself some room on that right side. Lift, 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 lift. And reach over to that right side stretching out that left side of the body. Feels nice after that ab workout that we just did. Great job, inhale. And exhale, coming back to seated. Wonderful, awesome job today, guys. I love this workout. I'm so happy that I got to share it with you. If you enjoyed me doing it along with you and giving all the cues and all that good stuff, please make sure you comment below and let me know. I just really love to make these videos for you all and I like to kind of change it up. So let me know what style you like. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up because it really, really supports my channel. And of course, you may know that I upload a brand new video every Sunday, so make sure that you subscribe. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for sweating it out with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye.